431, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT, Andy Parks, live from the Washington Times on this Thursday afternoon. I'm joined now by Times247.com editor, Catherine Timmy. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Well, you guys, uh, no doubt, are a little busy back there today. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, I was wondering, have you heard that Michelle Obama said obesity is the absolute <laughs> yes. worst security thing? Yeah, in fact, in fact, let me, here, let, me uh, let me play it for those who haven't heard it. I'll do it very quickly here. That from my perspective, the number one, the greatest national security threat that we have mm-hmm. is obesity. You ever think about it that way? Well, a- absolutely. Uh, uh, absolutely. I'm concerned because, as I mentioned before, I've been tweeting all the junk food that I eat at her. <laughs> And I'm supposed to fly home to Detroit at the end of the month. Am I going to be on the no-fly list if I <laughs> such a threat to national security? Yes, you are. Yes, you like, are. Oh no! You know, I don't know how they get to that. Especially, you know, we hear about this the day after we've got people getting killed on the other side of the world. You know, by terrorists. Quite frankly, that's right. what they are. Even though the Obama administration won't call them that, but the biggest threat to national security is a bunch of overweight people. Because you know all. International disputes are solved in a, with a relay race. <laughs> yeah. We all know thin people, thin yeah, people, yeah, and ridiculous. all the problems of the world. All right, what else? You Speaking have? of ridiculous, uh, the U.S. the EPA funded a study in China for Chinese to study pig manure. Excellent. Uh, we paid for that. Yes, we paid for that. It was That's about beautiful. it was like a, only one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow. But still, I mean, why did yeah. we do that? Yeah. Uh, you know, that makes me as happy as a pig in uh, manure. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just the EPA. I just spends money like a twelve-year-old with a credit card. Yeah. Like yeah. just no accountability. Did you have a credit card when you were twelve? I've, I've never had one. You never. Had I've a never had card. a credit card. How do you get around? How do you get from point A to point B in this world without a credit card? I don't know. I, uh, you manage though, don't I you? I spend within my means. <laughs> well, good for you. That, that's wonderful news. That's the best news I've heard in, I don't know, probably uh, you know, 20 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, that's funny. Yeah. Well, good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Live within your means. Mm-hmm. Man, that is unheard I mean, of. I have today. a car payment and stuff, but, yeah, well, you know, I don't, I've never had a credit card. Yeah. You make your car payment on time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just oh, checking. Yeah. Just checking. I mm-hmm. ask Ann questions like that. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I interrogate her sometimes about, you know, just making sure she's walking the straight and narrow. You know? mm-hmm. And now I intend to do the same with you. All right, yeah. uh, next story. What do you have? President Obama, he basically compared his campaign volunteers to the envoys who were slain in Libya. Oh, my God. And, you know, he just says this, the sacrifices that our troops and our diplomats make are obviously very different than, you know, what you're, you know, what you're doing here domestically. But I'm just really proud of you. Yeah. and. And all that kind of stuff. And, you know, and they're, yet yeah, they're the ones of accusing Mitt Romney of making yeah, this politically motivated. Yeah. Yeah, also, in 2008, Obama hit McCain. He used the troops to yeah. try to. Yeah, in fact, I played that a little mm-hmm. a while ago, too, and actually talked about the nine uh, members of the military that were killed in Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. You know, he talked about it right after that happened. So, you know, for the left to go crazy and scream about Romney sounding off as a candidate about foreign policy. Hey, look in your own backyard. Mm-hmm. You know, look what yeah. happened just a few years ago. Yep. Okay, got time for one more? Well, going along with it's just because he pretty much, we have another Obama owns the media story, yeah. pretty much. Uh, somebody from the New York Times wrote a, um, a, a piece about Obamacare, and he said some negative things about it. So three days beforehand, he sent it to Valerie Jarrett. Oh, just to make sure that just to she make sure everything was okay, and, yeah, and uh-huh. I guess she didn't say anything. That she ended up being kind of mad, and there's this whole big thing. But what I, whatever happened to the fourth estate? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Bye bye. That's I guess. To it. That's I for guess. Sure. All right. We'll check it out. Times twenty four seven dot com. That's the place to go. Thank you, Catherine. Mm-hmm. We'll talk tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Catherine Tim, the editor at Times twenty four seven dot com. Go there. Click on Get the Skinny. It'll give you a rundown of all the big stories from around the world. It is four thirty five at seven thirty a.m. One hundred two point nine FM WTNT. It's Andy Parks live from the Washington Times. Ed Kelly on the way. Stay tuned.